Hi guys, it's Laura with We Met Where I Work and More and today I am going to show you how to make one of these really sweet little beaded crosses. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you to like, subscribe and comment on this video. So let's get started. The materials we're going to use to make this cross is our heavy duty rebar wire. Extremely dirty guys, so be prepared. And then this is our 18 gauge utility wire. We have some seed beads and these are relatively big um, as they need to fit over this particular wire. So make sure and test those first. We have a ruler and then a couple of pairs of pliers. There's our snips and then our flat notes. Now to start out, I have a piece of the 16 gauge rebar wire here and I have cut about an arm's length and a bit out of this. And the size of cross that we're going to make today ends up being about five inches tall, more or less. And then to start, we're going to give ourselves a really nice sharp bend here. And we are going to start by making one of the arms of our cross. Now, this is a measurement that I'm using for this particular one, but you can adapt this to any size cross. If you want to make it larger, then you just measure the wire out longer. If you want to make it smaller, just measure it out less. In this case, we're going with about an inch and a half or so. There, we've made the sharp bend. And then we want this arm of the cross to be about that length as well. So we're going to take and we're going to just bend, bend this like that. And then we're going to bend it down where we have this other, and this is one arm of our cross. So now we're going to make the bottom part. We're going to make this one about three inches long. So measuring that along our ruler, we just give it a bend. Coming back up to where the arms of the cross will meet. And then we just give it another bend there. And this was an inch and a half, so we're going to measure that as well. that in and as you can see it takes a little bit of elbow grease and then for our height here we are going to do two inches so from there we're going to give it a bend measuring up the two inches Okay, good. Sorry, I keep going out of frame here just to get a little bit of leverage on that wire. So now we've come down here and this was the first bit of wire that this is where we started off. So we just want to make sure that this remaining tail of wire actually overlaps that. And you're not going to see it once we actually get our project wound. So we're just snipping that off. We ended up with lots of excess, which is fine. Getting that out of the way and then we're just going to go in and we are actually going to just press the wires a little bit closer together so that we have a little bit of a loop here. Um, you can try and close it up all the way but I kind of like the loop and once everything is said and done the cross can be hung by this one at the top. So our armature is looking a little rough, it's looking a little wonky and that's fine because we're going to wrap it in its entirety and you're not even going to see this frame underneath everything once it's said and done. Okay, so that would be our armature right there. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take our spool of 18 gauge wire 
and we're leaving it on the spool. There is no measurement for this at all. What we're going to do is we're going to start off in the center holding our cross together as best we can and then we just gonna wrap that wire around the armature just to secure it. Try and press those ends flat and then we're just going to start to wind. Now I would suggest doing the top part of your cross first because that's going to hold those wires together. So we're just wrapping, 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 wrapping. Now at some point if you find that your wire starts to kink up a little bit then just cut it off and then reattach it and start winding again. Because the nature of the wire is that it gets harder, stiffer the more you work with it. So this can get pretty, pretty hard. So if you've noticed I've gone up once, down once, up once and I'll go down again. That has bulked up our cross nicely. Now we're going to move on to one of these arms. I'm just going to straighten this armature out. It's got a bit of a bit of a warble to it. And it doesn't matter which arm that you do next. Now we're coming to the end of wrapping the body of this, so just do a couple of cross wraps in the center there, and then we just snip it off, just leaving a bit of a tail, not anything too major, All right? And then you just take take it and just tuck it in there somewhere, giving it a squeeze. All right, so there is the base for our cross. Now the next thing that we do is we take a length of our utility wire now and let's just work with arms lengths again. Probably my favorite measurement. <laughs> okay so we have our length of wire and then we're just going to find a spot to poke this in where that end is not going to be a problem bringing this around and now we start to string our beads so we'll just pop a bunch of them on there and you can use any color a bead any size a bead as long as it fits over our wire And there's no set amount of beads. It that one's a dead because it's going to vary how many you need depending on how wide you, your wraps are on the armature of the cross. Okay, we're going to start off with that group. And then we just quite simply start to wind the wire, wind the wire. Sometimes these terms are tongue twisters. And this is a slow process in the sense that you want to make sure that your beads are in the right spot. Okay, so that's across the front. I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to just wrap it round back behind and then I'm going to let three beads loose again 
and then I'm going to wrap it again. And there's three more. And to see how it's just automatically bulking it up more. Holding on to those. Bring the wire back around. I'm going to use three more. We've gotten to the bottom of our cross. We're not going to put any beads any further down. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this tail and we're going to wrap it back up to the center of the cross going in between the rows of beads. All right, so now that we've gotten to the top here, or the center, pardon me, we'll string some more beads, and we're going to run a second row, one across this way, and then one across that way, making the beads fill in those gaps. And use as many beads as you need to to cover that space. Holding it firmly in place. Bring it around. We've got two, three here. We'll need a couple more. Just lay them across, bringing the wire around. We're going to pop a few more in there. So you see how I did that? There's that little gap. Brought the wire around, popped in a couple more in there. We're going to bring it around, do the same thing for the top area here. Bring the wire around. And then we're going to start to wrap the wire up the top here. So we're just going to continue to wrap the wire in between the beads on this final arm of our cross. Till we once again to the center. And I'm just going to run that wire a couple times through the center as well. Snipping it off. I'm just going to take it and we're just going to find a hole and we're just going to tuck it in there. So there we go. There is our super cute little cross. And as you can see, it's pretty pretty straightforward on the back, but it's just really really quite quite lovely. So once again, this is Laura with We Met Wirework and More, and I thank you for watching. And before we go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Have a great day. See you soon.